Mm-hmm. <laughs> Every time I eat fuchka, it's kind of like the first time eating it. I fall in love with it all over again. You know what I mean? It's like the first day I saw her. Nothing's really changed. Hey guys, welcome to Jory. The best place to get your fix if you're South Asian or South Asian curious. I'm Sami. I'm Ashia. We're extremely excited to be filming our first video today. Before we get started, we want to let you guys uh, know a little bit more about who we are. So we are a South Asian media platform focusing on diaspora stories across the world. So if you're new to our channel and you're seeing our first video, smash the subscribe button right below or send a like or drop a comment. And let's get to it. What are we doing today, bro? Alright, so today we're going to start the channel off strong with uh, going back to some of our roots. It's called Fuchka. Some people say Fuska. Um, it's very related to the Indian Pani Puri, if you're not related, if you don't know this one. Um, it's just related, amazing. But not alike. But not alike. No, I don't know. Very different. Um, I think the biggest difference is that they do theirs with, I mean, hence the term Pani, they do with water. And ours is very chickpea heavy. We have a lot of chickpeas in ours. Yeah, I got chickpea in mine too. No, I mean, you imagine. <laughs> yeah, no, it makes sense. <sighs> All right. So, do you want to go for the first one, or are we just gonna wait longer? Cause I'm, it's looking good. Don't we do it with like yogurt too? I've never heard of that. But I do. We have something called dog, which in Bangla means sour, and it's like a, it's like a black sour, like dip, like that, similar to that. But that one looks really. But yeah, you got you got yeah you got pani you got pani puri. I got pani puri. Okay, okay. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so this is how you guys eat it. Okay, you guys gotta take the pani or the water. The pani. <laughs> you gotta cut it. You just pour it in. Yeah. Mhm. Mm there you go. All right. So I got mine on. So I'm just gonna eat it already. Mhm. Mm <laughs> yeah, you got it too. I don't think I've ever had them soggy. I don't think I could ever imagine them being soggy. No, I think in, with Fushka, we don't do that just because we have so much. Because I was just so much heavier because of the chickpeas yeah. and everything. But I know in India, yeah, they definitely do that. I know, but it's like, it makes it so fucking soggy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Alright, Masha, give me, give me a fact. Oh, me? Um. I don't know. The first time I had Fushka, I was probably like. Seven or eight. Um, Your mom made you have it like no, the no, no. The first time I had it. Oh no, no. I wasn't okay. The first time I remember having it, I was like probably like twelve. I was in like sixth or seventh grade. Um, and it was at like a dawat. And you, honestly, you you could have been there. I don't know. It was back in Kuwait. Um, it was like a few aunties brought some stuff. My mom had the shells and like it was a whole thing. It was. I want to say during like a special celebration, like a Bengali celebration, could have been Boishak or something. And uh, it was like a huge spread and I fell in love immediately. I just thought like, it's like, oh, it's like chips. And then, but it's, it was honestly my first crush, probably my last. It's uh, true. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Put it on my tombstone. <laughs> Fushka <laughs> Cruncher. Sorry. <laughs> great husband, great wife, best friend. You <laughs> put me as wife. <laughs> great husband, great wife, <laughs> Fushka lover. <laughs> Twenty twenty one, baby. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And we both live in Kuwait. We're both in Bali. But he was born in the US and moved to 
Kuwait. And I was born in Bangladesh and moved to Kuwait. And that's where, like, we became family friends. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, I was not invited to his first-time romance. With that's not true. That's not true. Masha probably just forgot it because she just got so many things in her life. Um, I feel like you were there. <laughs> I, I definitely feel like you were there. If you weren't there, it's okay because the first, I mean, every time I eat fuchka, it's kind of like the first time eating it. I fall in love with it all over again. You know what I mean? It's like the first day I saw her. Nothing's really changed. <laughs> I've always been a big fan. Yeah, that's Actually, what what is your how about this? What is your favorite traditional? You can say Bangladeshi or just like any desi dish. Shorisha tail is mustard oil? Is that what that is? I didn't never knew what that was. So it's mustard oil. Oh my god. I didn't know. Everyone's like Shorisha tail. And I was like, oh, I wonder. No, no, but like they also use the teeth, but like the white mustard teeth. Oh, interesting. It doesn't look like a. So you know how most Indian curries look like red? Mm hmm. Well, Shorisha tail is like red with white That does not, uh, to me, a white fish dish would be, you know, throw me off. It's fucking delicious. Like, it is, it's cheesy. You yeah. think it's going to taste like bland, but it's so punchy. So good. Interesting. And the Ilyish has its own flavor, right? Like, I yeah, have Ilyish is just, yeah. Mm -hmm. That can compare to the taste of cheese. No, no. Ilyish is another. Yeah. It's just, it's a whole other thing. Um... And I think as a kid, I didn't really appreciate it enough. And then growing up, I was like, I was like, wow, this fish got flavor. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I was really impressed. I was like, damn, it bites back. Because I just, I wasn't like, I was into fish, but I was like, I was like a little, oh, oh, Mindy Colling type. You know, like, I was like, mm, I like calamari. Like, <laughs> some bullshit. No, Mindy Colling, she's trying to cancel us. Nah, she can't cancel us. She doesn't even know about us. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah um but all love to mindy calling i don't want to say all love but like some love <laughs> a certain level of love to mindy calling how about that a very a very specific amount of love to mindy calling mm -hmm. love the office that's for sure Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, you know what? I was thinking, okay. That's the thing. Why were you not more, you know? And and the doctor, the Indian doctor was unreal. Why would you? Oh my God. Yo, honestly, that broke my heart. I felt like every brown person felt for the Indian guy. You know, like. I felt like we were with him when she like broke his heart and this dude was a stud. I was like, first off, no, he was, so his, her mom introduced her to this great doctor or Pam. I think he was there too. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But I know she like finally ended up with him and Ryan disappeared. And then Ryan shows up with a baby named Drake and like, She's like, oh my god, Drake like the musician, and his and he's like, no, Drake for like, some he's some bullshit. And then all of a sudden, he like takes he's like pediatrician. She's like, take care of him, and then they like run away together. This is great for me after Drake. Thank you. 
I love you. <laughs> I love you too. We're gonna be together forever. We're running off into the sunset. I finally mastered commitment. And they leave this dude with a baby. First off, this dude makes. I don't know heroes, but he his yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's only one. There's probably like one guy that looks that good in Hollywood that's brown. Nobody oh is that good looking. Like, honestly, I was like, how dare you leave him? And also, we'll why? Okay, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. my thing is like, one, how dare you leave him? And two, why did you not give us his number? Like, I'm trying to like, <laughs> like I'm trying to wingman him with someone that's actually worth it. You know, like his. I don't know, I feel bad. He broke my heart. Broke my heart. But yeah. And now, now, The Office is off Netflix. So there's that. Mindy Colling is just garbage in, as a character because she left her man hanging at a... Something like that. But yeah, so... Yeah, so I'm not saying Mindy Collins tried to do this just because she, I think she was like a producer, played a role in like The Office and like making it and writing for it. But I think a lot of these shows, they pushed for diversity. So they try to include a brown person. They try to include like whatever. And like that's great. But at the same time, you have to be able to showcase it properly. Like the way sometimes they'll show like Aziz Ansari. I'm like, great that Aziz Ansari's in it. And I think Aziz Ansari's a funny guy. But they'll give him like a character that's like this whack brown dude who gets no like can't pull he got no game and is awkward and like and there's no brown female in the show there's no real culture in the show but then they're gonna have one episode that's like diwali or they're gonna have one episode that's like mm, look at the red dot on my head and it's like damn it like diwali is a festival of life oh no god if you're gonna have a brown person in your show, like have him be more cultural. Like why, my keyboard connection is stuff. He's like, why doesn't your, like why isn't his mom calling him and being like, it's time for you to get married, you know? Or like, or like why isn't, I don't know, if we had a female brown character, why, isn't, why aren't her parents being like, hey, like I don't want you out so late and she's like 30, you know what I mean? Like at least make it funny, make fun of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's this one I'm trying to find. Do you know that Netflix show with the little girl? I actually watched the whole thing. I just don't remember what it's called. Um, it's like an Indian. It's like American Indian. They're based in like, I want to say California. Um, yeah, the one that Mindy Never have ever. Never have ever. So I think that was interesting. Where it really showcased the culture, right? Like, yeah. did you did you watch it? Yeah, that that one was pretty good, right? Like that one we could relate to. Me as an as a Bengali boy who grew up in Kuwait, I could even relate to that. You know what I mean? Like there were a lot of like things that just were like really cool. Like our parents are vibing similarly. Like everything is like on the same page. So I liked it. <laughs> but what I didn't like, or what I don't like about Hollywood overall, is just like they just don't do a good job highlighting us, and I think they can do that better. But you know, that's it. A cousin from India and stuff. It was really cool. I liked it. And they were showing her marriage and her interracial relationship with that Asian dude and that she had to break off. I think that part was a little rushed, but if you think about like the grand scheme of things, he also wasn't in the show a lot. It's one thing if like they were really close and they were on dates a lot and like, you know what I mean? They sneak around often. Yeah, it did seem casual. I mean, the relationship with the Asian guy. 
<laughs> yeah, yo, I was like, do, do you not know where you are? Like, he broke into the house and was like, all right, so when are we running away? You would have to, you'd have to do it, you'd have to call the cops when your parents come in because you got to act like you don't know who he is. <laughs> and you got to be like, I never seen this dude in my life. You know what I mean? Wait a minute. You. Yeah, you got it. Like, you have to. In what world are you going to be like, oh, yeah, so I've been seeing this guy, but don't worry, the wrist is downstairs and I totally understand. No, you're going to be like, you're going to be like, I have no idea who this dude is, like, at all. And then just go with that. That's, I think, the biggest goal. I don't know. What are you supposed to do in that situation? Like, you're already breaking up with him in the process of breaking up with him. Like, it's already over. Are you really going to take the L for someone that you're not even with anymore? Like, now it's done. I'm sorry, but like we're done, bro. Like, peace out. You know what I mean? When I like, if the, if a girl walks in like that, and she's like, "Sammy, tell your mom about." I'll be like, "Tell mom who? <laughs> tell mom about who? I don't see you." <laughs> Jin Duke says, "It's like, is that a like? Are you? I don't think I see anything. I don't." Who is that? You can hear me. Can you hear me, Sam? Wheat. Say my name. Say it. Leave me No, at that point, that's a whole different lifestyle. That's a whole story. Like, they just, like, pop in. You're just, like... Fatality. Like, and you're just, like... And what, we're, like, playing Ludo, you know? Like, we're playing we're playing Uno cards, and they walk in. I'd be like, you know, I don't know what to do. Like, she did, a rev she did a plus four on me. Like, obviously, we know each other. You know what I mean? Like, I'm picking up four cards for this girl. Like, obviously, I know her. And then my parents just walk in. I don't know. I don't think I could uh, play that off. I don't know much about her, but from what I see, she, I don't know, like, she, she just seems like she's a lot more composed as well. Mm -hmm. She seems very com composed. And I think she's gotten, she's gotten some slack for certain things, but... I think she's just really, really cool. I mean, she's outspoken. I don't know if she isn't, like, quiet. You know, she's outspoken. She doesn't, like, try to keep the No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. So I think, I think she's, it's not like she's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I think she has been, like, I think she has gotten a lot of, like, shit from people for certain things. But at the same time, she's, like, really been able to compose it and be like, no, this is what I think. And, and then she also ties in her culture. And then she's, like, big, she's, like, a big foodie. And she, like, brings in her culture that way, too. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's also very pretty. She's a beautiful girl. I think the Eurocentric features are huge for, um, I mean, for this side of the world, right? Like, you need, that's why, like, people talk about colorism in South Asia, which is huge. It's a big issue. But it stems from, people say, like, the oppressor. But, like, at the end of the day, when you come to the States, it, it doesn't change. It's just people are more, mm, be free, whatever. But like, people here, yeah. even my generation are like, oh, I'd rather talk to a light skin. And it's like, that's just like how they are. That's like, and yeah. it's it's unfortunate. Um, yeah. But it's like, don't act arrogant because you live in the United States. Like, what? Colorism holds strong here too, and it's a problem everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even like even our language, The Shemla, yeah. Shemla, yeah. Shemla, Shemla. And I'm just like, but she can be beautiful and Shemla, like, you know? Like, like yeah, yeah. Like, you can, like, she, like, yeah, so they'll be like, hey, Shundur, like, yeah, they can be Shundur, but if, but like, it's just a word that means fair. And I'm like, why is yeah. Shundur and fair? Why is fair, yeah. yeah. Why is, why is beautiful and light skin the same meaning? Yeah. Like, bro, that's, yeah. that's just an issue that, and it's so hard to fight that one because you can be like, "Hey, every skin tone is beautiful." That's something to write an article about. We should we should actually do research into that. 
That could be oh, really. No, no. Well, the reason why is because they didn't only embed, like we just talked about, they didn't only embed it in our culture, not only in our traditions, but also in our language. Like, we can't even call someone fair-skinned without, like, you know how, like, you can call, like, someone light-skinned here. Like, you're light-skinned or you're dark-skinned or whatever, about tone. Like, light-skinned doesn't mean, you can be ugly and light-skinned. You can be ugly as hell and light-skinned. Like, you can be ugly and dark-skinned, you can be beautiful and light-skinned, beautiful and dark-skinned. In Bangladesh, when you talk about it, or like in just that community, the entire Indo, Indo South, in the South Asian community, you'll see that like forsha or whatever, like the beautiful beauty comes with fairness, and it's like it's it's ingrained in our minds that like it's a synonym. Who made that a synonym? I don't know. So if we go back to Bangladesh, for example, because we can only speak for ourselves right now, I can only like I can't change the language. You'll have villagers that say, oh, Forsha, because that's how we talk, that's just our language. So how do you change that rhetoric? That's like, it's going to take like generations. And then once the British came, all the, all the, like, it just was associated that success and power is attributed with like the fair person. So yeah. Like and when, and when, and when British people came with guns and ships, it like almost proved to be true. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, that's, yeah. That's they like the forsha stay on top, which is yeah, the forsha stay on top, of, yeah. which is just garbage. I like the sun here is like much stronger than it's going to be. So I like obviously can't a lot. I can't a fuck. Mm-hmm. And oh my god, the level of shit I got from everyone. Why are you so black? Why are you so this? Why are you so that? Really? Like, Yeah, I got that. When I went to Cancun, I came back. And my friend was like, yo, you tend a lot. And it was funny. But my mom, when she would like FaceTime with my dad, she'd be like, why are you so, like, she would freak out. She was like, what happened to you? And I was like, I was like, what do you mean? I, I didn't even know. I was like, what do you mean what happened to you? She's like, you look so dark. And I'm like, oh, yeah, like yeah. the beach in Cancun. Like, that's just how, that's Mexico. <laughs> Hello. But they were just like, no, like, why, why is it like this? Like, how did this happen? I was like, I was literally, I slept out there. Like, I didn't. I stay. I was there twenty four the hours. Mm-hmm. I don't put sunscreen on usually. Now I do because I heard it was so bad for your skin or whatever. But yeah, but the risk nonetheless, right? Like either way, it's smarter too. Um, but I, I didn't. So to be fair, I'm not trying to lecture you on. <laughs> I've never done it. We're all up to the store, guys. <laughs> If you want to be wrinkly, yeah, honestly, that's what. Don't care about your skin tone. Your skin is beautiful. Just you know, make sure it's wrinkle free. That's all. Now imagine now we're wrinkle shaming. We're wrinkle. We're 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 wrinkle shaming. <laughs> we go from like all skins are beautiful, but if it's wrinkly, it's garbage. Like you're ugly. <laughs> it's all about wrinkles. <laughs> we're changing the narrative. Yo, that's funny. <laughs> We love the dark skins, but the wrinkles get the fuck out. <laughs> oh my god. That's just me. <laughs> Watch like all boomers cancel us. Yeah, but they're just mad because they're not even on this platform. Where where are they gonna be? <laughs> Those weird boomers that are like create YouTube content for like fourteen year olds or ten year olds or eight year olds and they're like thirty five. Or like forty five, and they're just walking around with like Thomas the. T- <laughs> so thank you for tuning in, guys. Moral of the story: Mindy Kaling could have been a little bit more brown. <laughs> Fushka is fire. Bonnie Puri is pretty good, according to Masha, but Fushka I think was a little bit crunchier. Better, yeah. De- definitely, and. Uh, <laughs> And, um, you know, don't get wrinkled. Like, keep the wrinkles out. Any skin tone is good. Light skin, dark skin, we love it all. But we're all about that smooth, too, you know? Put your lotion on, that's it. Sunscreen, lotion. Always, always. Absolutely.
Um, but for real, thank you guys for tuning in to our first video. We'll make a lot more. We'll have more food too. I think we we depleted our ammo pretty quick, so we'll have some more food next time. Um, let us know what you want us to eat in the comments or DM us, whatever it is. And be sure to subscribe, like, comment, you know the drill. Do whatever you do for other YouTubers. But this one, you know, <laughs> bring the bell or whatever it's called. Do whatever you need to do, all right? Thank you for tuning in. Bye.